from where? Oh, all the way to the beginning. All right. Back to the beginning. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome back. Today, I'm guess, I guess I'm just making an intro for the wood processor. So it is a Hacky Koki Falcon 35. This is our flow processor, so it has the conveyor and the key table thing. Um, and the cutting and the splitting all, all of it together. Now, we had put a video up when we first got it of you running it. And there was lots of comments about the, the the screens removed. What's your feelings on the safety level yourself? Not not what not what your daddy says, but what you say. How difficult would it be for you to hurt yourself? Well, I would be standing here. So I can't reach directly to the saw if I had the urge to do that. And so in order to get to it, I'd basically have to come from that side or be all the way over here. And for the splitting, I can't reach the manual splitter, so I'd have to be in here when the saw is going. But what is our policy for you when you're running this, when you need to reach in? Because you do need to reach in. Yeah, I have to open this. And what does that do? This stops everything, so nothing can move. Or right. It's, it's, it's the design that when you open the door, it shuts off all the hydraulic controls. Mm -hmm. So you can't make it go. Now the conveyor, outfeed conveyor may still be running when you lift that up, I think. Um, but you can't get to that when you're in here anyway. So what, 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 in your opinion, you've seen stuff explode on the big splitter. Which splitter is safer to operate? This one. Why? Because when they explode, they usually go sideways and you're all the way back here anyway. That's right. So it would go through here. Yeah, reach, so reach down in there with your little chicken wings, see how deep that is. And it's a big V. So when it goes up against this wedge, it tries to blow out. It, it's going to hit these sides down in there. The wood can't come up out of there. Plus, you got this is kind of in the way. You know, it does float. So, do you enjoy running the firewood processor? Yeah. Just that, basically. Put it in. Do that. And then do that. Right. And occasionally have to do that. So, all right, well, this is going to be a little introduction to the Hacky Pinky Falcon 35 that we purchased. Um, it's got a little over 200 hours, but I've put about 10 hours on it, I think. And it, it works quite good. Um, we need to build the in feed table system so we can put full length logs on. Here in Maine, we get, well, you can get anything. I get stuff that's seven foot six, which that won't go through, of course, and all the way up to 20, 24 foot long. So we need to be able to um, at least take 18, 20 foot. Anything super long, I can cut it off, whatever. Um, but, so that's gonna be the in-feed table. You've seen them on the big commercial guys. You, you can buy them from this company or any of the other companies, they make an in-feed table. Um, a hydraulic motor with chains that pull the logs logs lay across this way my arms are the bunk feeds it in you'll drop into a trough on this edge with a chain in it hydraulically connected to this conveyor machine set up to do that so that chain will feed or well, set of wheels whatever I decide to do will feed at the same speed that this belt goes so everything works harmoniously and it's all set up here with ports to run that set of hydraulic motors and another set of ports to run the feed that goes this way that's what this lever here does in and out that'll roll the logs in so then we'll be able to be really efficient and as we have a video of the milwaukee chainsaw not the cheapest electric battery powered chainsaw on the market but it is safer for millie and ann my wife to operate they still need ppe but you eliminate a lot of the problems of a gas powered saw, especially considering how often you would actually have to use a saw in relation to the processor, cutting off knots, branches, flares on the bottom where they, because of the loggers, they cut right at the ground level. And a lot of times there's a flare on the logs. Any crotches, this one here has got a crotch in it. This one over here does too. Yeah, 
see that this processor can't handle stuff like that. And Easton made no problem. It'll either split it or it'll smash it to dust. This, not so much. It's kind of a princess. It likes wood about that big and it flies through wood that big. It's perfect for that stuff. Every machine has it has its sweet spot. And that's, I think, what this one is. So we're also gonna lift this up about two and a half feet on the concrete blocks. It'll sit on each end, the little skids that it has. And I'll attach it uh, quasi-permanently. We'll come up with a, a system to hold it so it doesn't vibrate or get bumped and knocked off. We'll have a working platform, just like you're standing here on the ground, but it'll be up two and a half feet. And the, well, obviously the in-feet conveyor is gonna have to be up that high too. And it's for the ease of cleaning underneath this machine, it's a real pain in the tuchus. It builds all up with sawdust and chips and it's a disaster. And I have a spot in mind to put it. And once I get around to it, they're about the round to it's about that big. So when you get those, they get usually cast iron, round to it. When I get one, I'll be able to get this all going. And also being up two and a half feet helps to load trucks. Um, because the side sides are, are higher than the trailers. And it's the whole idea. Efficiency. Keep the touches down on the wood, not touchdowns, touches down. The least you have to handle firewood, the more money you're gonna make. So And the cleanest you can get it without touching it. And the it. cleanest you can get it. Obviously you don't want to dump it in a pile like this. See this is split off of the big the big splitter with the box wedge. And I just let it all run up the conveyor and that is right loaded with trash. If you brought that to a customer, that would be the last time you went to that customer. But since we, we do the roadside stand off from this pile, we'll just pick through it. There's no way I would deliver wood like that to a customer. So a disc cleaner is in the future also. It's just a matter of lots and lots of money and time. I have neither of those. Alright, well, thank you guys for uh, stopping by and seeing what's going on in the wood yard. Um, if you like, share, subscribe, and comment down, down there. My, my face is here. Just checking your safety sandals. Yep. Well, uh, and then if you press the bell, you'll get uh, notified when we put up some more videos. So, thank you. Bye.